So in this video we have a block of mass 18 kilos is held at rest on a rough slope with a coefficient of friction mu equals 0.4 inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. The block is then released and slides down the slope. Find the momentum of the block after it has travelled 5 metres. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. Here is my block. It's on a slope at an angle of 30 degrees. It's got a weight of 18g. We'll complete the triangle. That's 30 degrees, so the opposite side is 18g sine of 30, and the adjacent side is 18g cosine of 30. We have a normal reaction force, and because it's going down the slope, our frictional force will work up the slope. OK, now we know that the block is moving. So the friction is equal to mu times r, so 0.4 times r. We're going to resolve perpendicular to the slope, taking that direction as positive. So we have r take away 18g cosine 30 is equal to 0. So r is 18g cosine 30. Now I could evaluate that at this point. Uh, I'm going to leave it as it is. So therefore, the friction is going to be equal to 0.4 times that. So that is, um, well, 0.4 times 18 is 36 over 5, so 7.2 g cosine 30. So that's my friction. OK, so now if I resolve and... Um, which direction shall I go? Well, I'll go uh, down the slope. Take down the slope as positive because that's the direction of motion. So we have the 18g sine 30. Take away the friction, which is 7.2g cosine 30. And that's going to be equal to the mass, which is 18, times by the acceleration. OK, so let's put this in with g as 9.8. So 18 times 9.8 times sine of 30 take away 7.2 times 9.8 times cosine of 30. And then divide that by 18. And we get 1.50518017 metres per second per second. So now I'm going to use the constant acceleration formula. Suva equations. So A is this 1.505, etc. It is released from rest. I need to find the final velocity. And it has travelled 5 metres down the slope. So I want to use the equation that doesn't involve T, which is V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So V squared is 0 squared plus 2 times 1.505, etc., times by s, which is 5. So I need to multiply those three things together and then square root it. So times by 2 times by 5, square root the answer, and we get 3.87966547 meters meters per second. So the momentum is equal to the mass, 18, times by the velocity I've just found, so 3.879, etc. So we get 69.8, and that's Newton seconds, to three significant figures.